Hey, and so it, it's funny. I post my Monday episode right as it goes live. The Ricard Raquel stuff um, comes out. So I wanted to make a short little video here. I'll post this on the um, the YouTube page. I'll tweet this out. I'm going to work on all that. Just, you know, going over the move, give my thoughts on it. You know, is, was this the right move for the Penguins and all that stuff. So um, <clears throat> in case anyone did miss it, so it's a six-year deal for Ricard Raquel. Five million per, so he'll be getting 30 million <clears throat> um over the next six years. And, you know, this is a player that, you know, I think most of us expected to lose in free agency. I mean, Josh Yoey wrote on Monday morning, he's going to be um, coming on the show later today. I'm recording this at literally 2 a.m. on Tuesday morning. And yes, I'm just that much of a night owl. Um, you know, he was saying that the two sides really hadn't um, engaged in a lot of dialogue and that he expects him to hit the open market. Obviously, that was not the case because the whole of getting Malkin's shield went down and then they must have went and got to work with Raquel. So he will be back for the next six years. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll say this. I do like Raquel a lot. I think he's a really good player. I think he showed a lot of things when he came over from the decks. He's a very fast player, very, very good with the puck playmaking wise, very strong, has a beautiful shot on um, physical physicality wise. I, I think, you know, He's fine. He can throw the body around, which is what Brian Burke wants. But, you know, his production has also gone down the last four years. And, and I understand, trust me. I know he's played on some bad Anaheim Ducks teams, but he's also been, you know, not the healthiest player during these last four to five years. I Again, I know he mainly stayed healthy with the Penguins until he had that concussion. Um, I believe that was courtesy of Jacob Truba in the Rangers series. But, you know, I'm just – is he going to age gracefully throughout this contract? And, you know, you know, part of me is just a little upset because, okay, you're not afraid to give this player term, but you're afraid to give – if, if Rob Rossi's report is true, you're afraid to give Evgeny Malkin that fourth year. Because, you know, it's funny. You, you, when they got Raquel, everyone's like, oh, they got the winger for Gino, And now that Evgeny Malkin is – maybe not going to be here next year. You know, it's almost like saying, wow, the, the Beatles are such a great band, but I'm going to go with the opening act and, and sign them instead. Um, if you know, I, I put that on my Twitter account, I wanted to put that here in case uh, people don't follow me um, on Twitter. Um, I think with Raquel, there's some recency bias with some of the fans in this fan base because when he inevitably has that stretch that all Penguin players have, where, you know, 15 to 20 games of the season, he disappears. People, I think, are going to be singing a different tune. Well, where is this player that we saw last year? Oh, that contract is so bad, blah, 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 blah. I do think you are going to see that. And it's like, and, you know, someone like me or a couple others from Penguin Story would be like, yeah, this is what happens when players are just really streaky. I think he needs the right center to succeed, which is probably why they're going to have to put him with Sidney Crosby. If Mike Sullivan does put him with Sid, I will be, you know, warming up to, I think, the deal a bit more. I do think they can get two to three pretty decent years out of him. After that, sure, you know, it's not going to be much because the team might be bad, but, you know, I just think that contract is going to age like milk. And, you know, I know some people were in my, in my mentions on Twitter, which, you know, they were a cesspool tonight with just a bunch of stuff saying, well, you know, who are you going to get on the free agent market and stuff like that? And, and I understand, you know, the, the prices for some of these free agents are through the roof. But, you know, I think they could have maybe signed, you know, someone like Ilya Mikheyev for a bit cheaper. But again, at that point, you know, you're battling against other teams. There's no guarantee. You could look at some trade options. It's just, you know, I, I don't know. You know, he's going to be 30 really soon. He hasn't produced the, at the level that, you know, he used to produce early on in his career. You know, <clears throat> how is that going to age, you know, in, in starting this year, really? And if Mike Sullivan does not put Markel with Sid, then you're going to have to likely put him with a new second line center. And if that someone is Vince Trocek, I, I just I just don't see how he produces more with him than he would with someone like Evgeny Mall. So, you know, it's, uh, again, I I'll say this one more time. I like the player. I really enjoyed watching him when he came over from Anaheim. He was making a great impact, <clears throat> excuse me, with the Penguins. But, you know, 
I still think, you know, it, it's a little too steep for my liking. I think it's a little too much term. And I think the AAV is a little higher. You know, if it, if it was like the Brandon Saad deal that we saw last year when it was like four to 4.5 million, I probably wouldn't have batted an eye that much. But and the fact that, you know, they, they got him for this, I, I, I don't know, Jens. I think, I think it's just a little, you know, a, a little much, but you know, they have him in their top six for the foreseeable future. So when you look at the top six right now, you have Gensel Crosby Rust or Carl Rico on the second line. You got to figure out your second line center if Gino doesn't come back. You got to figure out your other winger on the second line. Um, you know, there's no shortage of tasks here for Ron Hextall. And, you know, it's this is going to be a very, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say a tough time, but it, it's going to be very interesting to see what he does here with this remaining 10.3 million. I do think this means they really have to move a defenseman soon because, you know, if you are going to sign a second line center, if Gino does not come back, you're going to have to break the bank a little bit for it. And then at that point, if you say you give out six, 7 million, you're down to only three to 4 million in salary cap space to fill another need on the second line. Then you have some RFAs to deal with like Kapanen. If you want to somehow bring him back, which I think would be dumb. I think they should use him as trade bait. What are you going to do with Danton Heinen? you know, all, all this other stuff. And, you know, m- maybe Evgeny Malkin does circle back to the team. Who knows? You know, there's still, you know, as I'm sitting here recording this at 2 in the morning, you know, his mind could change. You know, we've seen this happen a lot, you know, in, in the various sports over the years. So, you know, you have that to think about. And, you know, maybe there could be a trade for the second line center. Who knows? But, you know, I think two ways I would feel better about this. A, um, if he were to play with Sidney Crosby, a lot, a lot more, or if that doesn't happen, he gets to play with, you know, a pretty damn good second line center. That's probably not Vincent Trocek, um, in my opinion. So um, that'll do it for this quick little video. I think it's about seven minutes that I've been recording. So um, let me know what you all think in the comments. Um, you know, do, do you like the move? Do you think it's a bit long? Um, would you have gone out after someone else in free agency? Do you think I'm an idiot for taking this stance? Um, just let me know, you know, I'll, I'll always read and, and respond to you all. And, you know, I, I really appreciate all of you watching this. Remember later today, I will have Josh Yoey from the athletic onto the show to talk everything penguins in, which is going again, what is going to be a very busy week for this team. So again, thank you all so much for watching this and I'll look forward to seeing you all in a future episode for this show.